It's the sixth anniversary of FFPE and a lot of new players are coming into the game and many of you have likely seen FFPE advertisements playing on mobile games lately and you might be wondering should I get into it? My recommendation is yes you should definitely start playing FFPE. It's a great time to join and it's a very fun game to play but if you need more convincing then don't worry because I've got four reasons why you should play FFPE today. Reason number one, the aesthetics. I think there's a reason why people keep coming to FFBE. It's one of the best looking games around and it fulfills that classic pixel feeling that people want. Paired with one of the best mobile gaming soundtracks around, the game is a joy to observe. I love looking through all of my units and their varied sprites and watching the different animations. The same can be said for the awesome CG limit bursts that certain units receive. I feel like all of these features make FFBE a great collector's game if that's the way that you like to play your gacha games then definitely check it out reason number two the gameplay loop is easy your daily ffbe session can take as little as five to ten minutes i often do mine while i eat my breakfast then after work i'll check back in and do some weekly events and maybe some end game content Energy may seem scarce at first, but before you know it, it's going to be a limitless supply. This is not a game where you need it to min-max your energy usage. The two endgame modes, Dark Visions and Clash of Wills, will rotate in availability. Dark Visions is very easy and quick to complete, but can take longer if you're aiming for a high score. Clash of Wills is a little bit more complex to complete and it takes some learning of different strategies to beat the boss. Once in a while we'll get a trial boss and just like Clash of Wills, it's going to take some time to learn some strategies. Otherwise, your weekly questing will consist of easier bosses and very easy repeatable farming events. Now, when you hear the word farming, it might scare you, but don't worry, farming in FFPE is so fun, it's so much less time consuming than in any other gacha I've ever played. Reason number three, the gameplay has a lot of depth and is super fun. FFBE may have easy weekly content to complete, but the various end game bosses can actually be quite challenging. Units in FFBE generally aren't very simple. They don't have two to three skills and a special like you might expect from other gacha games. We're talking about kits that have 10 to 20 unique abilities. Units can have a bunch of different roles, so you'll have to think about how you equip your units, but also which ones you're going to bring in the first place. But if equipping units, building formations, and forming strategies seems daunting to you, then don't worry because there are a ton of fantastic FFPE content creators that create strategies for players to replicate in order to clear the more difficult content in the game. Don't be afraid to wait until you've learned more about the systems in the game before you start taking on these bosses solo. Reason number four, the story is genuinely enjoyable. FFPE has six years and four seasons of story to catch up on. Last year I completed seasons one through three and now I'm working on season four. I've enjoyed every single season that I've played through, although some were better than others. Recently there was an update that after reaching an early point in season one, players can skip straight to season four and this allows you to, uh, to collect some decent gear and also a couple of powerful units. The season four, 4 story is very interesting so far, so I do recommend checking it out. However, if possible, you should play season one and two, although it's not mandatory for you to do that. It would be smart to take a break from season one in order to unlock the tank unit Runda in season four, uh, but then you could always go back and play season one again. And that's it, four big reasons to play FFBE. I think this game still has a lot to offer after six years, and I think this is especially true for new players as you're gonna have all of the story and past trial bosses to catch up on. So if you decide to play, pick up the game and you need assistance, don't be afraid to check out the Mysidia Gaming Discord as we have a general FFBE channel, but we also have an FFBE help channel where you can post photos and ask questions all to your heart's content. And trust me, there's going to be a lot of questions when you start out. I've also made many FFBE beginner guides, so make sure to check those out on YouTube as well. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Let me know if you're thinking about trying FFBE or maybe you've already started playing. Let me know what you think. Otherwise, I'll see you all in the next video.